Hello there guys, my name is Adrian Brenner and welcome to my my FTB tutorial series, FTB Encyclopedia, where I try and show you how I would automate things and any requests that you know we get in the comments will always be done. Okay, so today I'm gonna work on a jetpack charging station, but I'm gonna do it with applied energy so you can see this is my tutorial grounds. And so here we have a basic MFE, just charging up power. At the bottom we have a basic import buzz, providing it's going to work like this. And then at the top we have a basic export buzz. And the basic export buzz we're going to put the electric jetpack with zero charge. The only way this the only way this is going to work with, is with zero charge. I can't think of any other way to do it. So if the part of the system has something in with zero charge, I'll say this. I hope it works the way I think it's going to work. What it'll do is I'm hoping this goes to here when it's done. But I'm not sure it's going to work like that. The only other way we can do it is with this guy. We turn this into a precision import bus. Okay. Uh, position input was just going to go on the bottom. Okay. Or it might have to go on the side, I'm not sure yet. So then here we're going to say when it's at 30,000, can you pull that out? So that's not working like that. Okay. There's other ways to do it. Let's try it on the side then. Can you pull an electric jetpack from the side? Yep. Okay. So now we know the system can do it, okay? So if we grab a ME interface, put the interface on the top. Oh, whoops. Put the interface on the top, right? And then over here, we're going to do, hmm. Let's say we want to order a fully charged jetpack we're going to need this i'm going to need this now this is how ha i would do it there probably is better ways but so i'm going to do it we want to order one fully charged electric jetpack so we're going to en encode that right now we're going to test it over here and see if it shows up in the applied energetic system okay so now it's saying we can craft one of them okay so the way we're going to do that is for instance we're going to put in a couple electric jetpacks in here a couple of decharge ones so now when you're doing this guys say you have them in your world or something like that they're always going to have to be um, fully decharged which shouldn't be that hard to do with a standard electric jetpack this is just the way I do it okay so we have that there how much charge do you have you have got in charge if you ever have that in there you're gonna pull okay so now we're gonna say we want two fully charged jetpacks so what we should see happening over here as a jetpack will go in the top, it will charge up until it gets up to 30,000 and then it will pull out. Now you can do this with most electric jetpacks, say an advanced electric jetpack, as long as you tell this precision, because we're not going to be expecting a jetpack in there all the time. As long as you tell this precision from here, then you're going to do it that way. So you see here, another electric jetpack. So what the, the way I do it is if I had. I'd have two jetpacks, I'd run one fully out, I'd always have one in the applied energetic system. As soon as one has run fully out, I put it in the applied energetic system, put my other one on, order the other one, so when I come back, I've always got another one there. Okay, so when it hits 30,000, is it going to pull it out? Yes. That is perfect. That is working great. Guys, if you can think of any ways imp to improve this, and remember you can always send a video response, uh, and then tell me in the comments of any other ways. And uh, yeah, if you request any other tutorial, 
and remember to always comment and in the down in the comments and i'll always get the tutorial done for you guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed that's just the way i would charge my jetpack with applied energetics thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video